Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to make our PC look slightly less ketchup and mustard. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so this is my uh, my own personal PC rig. This is what I do my video editing on and all that kind of stuff. Um, normally, I like to just look at the one behind me, the Inwin 101C, because that is a beautiful looking case. But this is more of a workhorse, so it just has to uh, do what it's supposed to do. But it would be nice if it looked nice inside as well, because it's got all the makings of a really nice little, little PC. Uh, but there's a few things that let it down, so I thought, well, it's coming towards Christmas, so I'll treat the PC to its early Christmas present and give it a little bit of a, uh, a tart up and make it look a bit nice inside. So, problem areas. Let's go through them step by step. So, um, the first one is the power supply. Now, the power supply is a gigabyte. It's the G750M, which is a semi-modular power supply. Unfortunately, the only modular areas of the power supply are the bits that you don't actually see anyway, such as the SATA cable, peripheral cables, all that kind of thing. So, the cables that are actually captive that you can't do anything with are things like this. The uh, two times four pin PCIe Express for the graphics cards, which is in this horrible uh, ketchup and, well, mustard and pepper or whatever you want to call it. It's just yellow and black, it looks horrible. And the cables are actually braided, which doesn't really help. So you see kind of highlights of the yellow coming through in various areas. It's not very pretty, it's, it's not nice. And especially when it's at the front of the card because it just sticks out like a sore thumb in front of the glass window. Uh, moving up through there, so obviously we've got the the 24 pin power connector for the motherboard, which is just a whole rainbow of colors going on there. And I definitely, definitely dislike that. So we're gonna do something with that. Uh, moving up towards the top, we've got the fan header connection for the uh, radiator fans. Now that half fan header, the cable is actually sleeved and has got some heat shrinking on it. Um, so we may not have to do anything too drastic with that, maybe a cable extension, or maybe even get a little bit creative with a little bit of black tape or permanent marker. Uh, moving along, you've got the orange and black cable from the ID Cooling water pump, which oh, is a bit of a bugbear, really. It doesn't stand out that much. Again, a black marker or a little bit of tape will sort out no problem at all. Now, moving up to the top corner, you've got the 8-pin uh, CPU auxiliary power connector, which, again, pretty much the same deal as this. It's just yellow and black and looks awful. And, again, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So the power supply is the main problem in this. Now power supplies, especially if you're looking at a 750 watt power supply, they can rack up quite a lot of money. You're looking at sort of 50, 60 pounds, depending where you go and where you shop. Um, if you're lucky and get a second hand one, maybe you can get something a little bit better, better value for money uh, with nicer flat black cables or something like that. But realistically, it's gonna cost you quite a lot of money for a really nice power supply. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some cable mods from Shack Mods, I think the company is, and I'll put some links in the description below so you can see which ones we are going to be using and how they can work for you. Now, these are cable mods, so you can get these in various shapes, sizes, colors, and configurations. Now, for this particular instance, I've got a 24 pin extension, so that is just in black and white, and there's some cable grips there, so you can kind of train the cables to, uh, to go however you want them to be, which, as you can probably agree, these black and white cables in a kind of black and white setup with a little bit of RGB, it's gonna look pretty nice. And it certainly is gonna look much better than that ketchup and mustard stuff we got going on there. So moving on to these two. Now these look virtually identical because pretty much they are. Uh, one is the eight pin supplementary power for the CPU power. And again, you've got the, uh, the plastic cable trainers on there so you can train the cable to go where you want well, eventually they will go where you want. And this one is gonna be for the graphics card. So previously I couldn't do this because I was using a GTX 970 graphics card in here, but I've taken that card out, I've put that into the 101, which is behind me. And so now I can have the uh, RX 580 in my PC, which hopefully might make it a little bit better for video editing anyway. Now what I've done on this as well is because uh, if you've watched previous videos, which uh, I'll link up there, uh, we had to change the fans on this because we got the card and one of the fans was uh, dead. So we had to order these from uh, AliExpress and we got a replacement fan set. But because they're kind of like a generic fan set, the cabling on them was really long. So we had the cabling on the outside of the graphics card along that edge because of where the connectors were, etc. And again, there was like PWM wires on there. So you had a, a blue wire, a uh, yellow wire, a green wire, black wire, 
all along here which didn't look very nice and not very pretty. So I've already taken the shroud off of this and rerouted the cables to the back side. So they're all tucked away in there. So when it's plugged into the PC, there are no cables whatsoever on show on this side, which makes this look a little bit cleaner. And also when we've got our nice cable uh, connected in here, hopefully it's gonna shine. So that is the plan of action. Uh, what else are we gonna do? I just think, is there anything else that we need to do? Ah, yes, the last thing. Now I've also got a uh, NVMe SSD, which is in here. This is from Silicon Power. This is their um, M2 2280 PCIe SSD A40 or A60 or A80. Anyway, I'll put it in the description below so you can check out it for yourself. Now that is the thing I'm really torn about. I did already have a 256 gig hard drive in there, um, but the NVMe is faster. It's a better drive and obviously it doesn't require an extra power cable. But the one thing it does have, which is annoying, is the great big silicon power sticker on the drive itself. So um, it doesn't help either that the sticker is actually on upside down. So what we might do is have a go at removing the label off of there just so it doesn't stick out quite as much. Um, maybe we'll keep the label for a later date just in case because sometimes if you do a red build, maybe it'd be nice to have that red label, but at the moment, with the black and white theme going on, red's not really doing it for me, especially when it's slap bang in the center of the uh, the motherboard. So we're gonna have a go at peeling that off. Hopefully it'll come off nice and easily in one fell swoop. Fingers crossed, we'll find out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we plan to do. So I suppose the best thing to do is actually start doing it. So we're gonna start with taking the back of the case off, and we'll start uh, disconnecting the power cables, and then we'll reconnect the extensions and then pass the extensions through the grommets and then start plugging it all back in. Okay, so luckily the thumb screws on this uh, fractal design case are actually really easy to use. So we get the case off nice and easily. Okay, so cable management wise, um, we're probably gonna have to loosen off a lot of these just to get the cables to pull back through and then tidy it back up again after. So let's take through the uh, eight pin connection first of all for the CPU. Uh, actually, we can probably do that one straight away. So all we need to do is get a cable that matches up, which is not that one. Now these cables actually, they do come through and they're, they're pinned correctly. So obviously they won't fit where they're not supposed to fit if that makes any sense at all. So now what we need to do is just route that cable through. Into the approximate area. And plug it in and then we'll pull the cable trainer through just to keep it looking nice and neat in inside. In fact, what I'll do is I'll pull both the cable trainers through because it's going to be on a bit of a strange angle. And we can tuck that into there. Not particularly well cable managed, but it'll do for now. It certainly looks a whole lot nicer on the other side. So next one up is going to be the 24 pin power connector. Again, really simple to do. All you do is match up the cables. And push it together until you hear it snap, in, snap into position. And already, that is just a massive difference, isn't it? Between that to that. That just looks so slick. This really is going to look pretty cool. I want to bend it the other way. Actually, it's probably easier to plug it in from the motherboard first. I'm going to try and get the cable trainer into a nice position. Now, with these cables, they are actually um, quite they're not very supple, quite uh, quite stiff. So sometimes to get them to go into the right angle or direction, you sometimes need to do them in a different way. So if you do it kind of like that, which would be the preferable way to do it, on the inside it's gonna leave you with a little bit of a kink. 
So what I'm going to try and do, I think, is go across maybe this way. And hopefully try and keep it a little bit more level. So maybe if we tuck that in behind there. We can cable manage that later anyway. That's not a problem. But yeah, looking much better already. So the last one is going to be the PCI Express. I think we might need some cable ties here. So again with the PCI Express, just a matter of plugging the cable in. And then routing it back through. So I think what I'll do is if I spin it around now, and uh, we can just finalize the position for the cable in, then we can just cable tie everything up on the back. Okay, so not really a grand unveiling, but you can get the idea of what's going on. So let's get the thumb screws back in the case. Now the good thing is with these cable mods, they're not massively expensive, uh, especially when you take into account the price of a new power supply. And if you can pick up a, uh, a set of used cables, even better. Now, in my particular instance, most of these are used, used cables. I picked them up as part of a deal off a, uh, a Facebook group, but I think even at the full price, I'd have been pretty happy to pay. Especially to have it to look as nice as it does. And the thing is, even if you do get a nice power supply, you may still want to get these anyway, so you could possibly save money on your power supply by getting one which doesn't have specifically nice cables and just buy your own after. That's the beauty of PC building. You can pretty much do whatever you want to a budget. So we'll just try and train that round a little bit. And there, what do you reckon? Much, much better. Hardly any ketchup and mustard. And I think we'll just get a black marker on that bit. Which luckily, here's what I prepared earlier. Yeah, completely takes the edge off of that. So the last bit I suppose is the sticker. Do we or don't we? Is that gonna make a mess? In for a penny, in for a pound. See if we can tease it off a little bit. Actually, that bit's loose already. <sighs> Scary business. I don't want to damage the chip. I don't really want to damage the sticker. coming off right I'll give you guys a close-up on this see if we can get it to come off in one swoop oh come on so close yes so now look at that that looks uh, that looks a lot different I'll try and put a side by side up so you can see the before and after but that actually looks looks actually reasonably presentable again we're gonna have to play around with these wires a little bit just to get them to train them to get them to go into the right places and we might actually pull that one back out a little bit further maybe even that one but what do you reckon I think it looks pretty good so I think that's a, a definite win and the blue PCB of that SSD it doesn't actually look that distracting now. I suppose it would have been a little bit too much to ask to have it all exactly the same color. I think it's worked out pretty nicely. So let me know in the comments what you think. Was this worthwhile doing? Do you think it looks a lot better or a little bit better or just more presentable? So I'll leave the description and the links to all the stuff I've used in this video in the description below so you can check out for yourselves. Uh, in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and this has been Cable modding the Fractal Design Define C and trying to make it look a lot less ketchup and mustard. Thanks for watching.